the computer. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm Alex, and uh, this is another pop-up show. And uh, let me put on my earphones here so I can hear everybody. I was got this going a little bit. I got going a little late setting this up because I caught a nap. Oh, and that's something else going there. Okay, you don't need that. All righty. Okay, here we go. Hi, everybody. How are you? Let me let uh, people in here. Let me see participants. Oh, we got quite a few ready to go here. Let's see who uh, who wants to join me here. Uh, admit all. There we go. There's Marjorie. There's Charlie Wallace. There's Jeffrey Stein. There's Charlene Solis. There's uh, uh, eh friend up in Canada. Oh, and he's outdoors. He's in the woods of Canada. There's Edward Berger. There's Andy. That's right. Yeah. What? I said that's right. Can I yeah. just go on? Oh yeah, you did that. That's right. That's right. Okay. okay. And Andrew Deutsch and uh Brian Neary and Jeff Stein and Charlene Solis. And uh, you're not wearing your mask, Marjorie. I have it right here in case you come near me. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, I'll take mine off. I'll put mine on. Hold on a second. Let me take Wait, mine off. Wait, y'all got COVID again? Uh, he did. Is is my voice sounding better, Marjorie? It's still not normal. Yeah. Oh boy. So guess what, folks? Guess who got COVID for the third time? Oh. Wow. How many here have had it more than once? My son just told me that my grandson got had uh, was diagnosed with COVID this morning. And how old is your grandson? He's sixteen. He got it from his uh, his girlfriend, who you know. <laughs> well, that's the best way. That's the best yeah, way. That's to the get best it. way to get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how I got this. Uh, I have not gone out. Okay. I how do you feel? Well, I'm feeling better today because, well, what happened is you never get this on a on a Wednesday, you know. You always get it on a weekend when nothing's available, your doctor's not available or whatever. So I went down to the urgent care and they took a test and they said, yeah, you've got COVID. I knew that already. I'd taken about three tests to make sure and absolutely had it. And so then they, you know, gave me the uh, Pax Paxlovid, uh, <laughs> and I started taking it yesterday when I was feeling terrible. And this morning I woke up, I was feeling better, you know. But I'm sleeping all day, you know, just tired. But here we are. Yeah. Huh? Somebody want to say something? You are carrying on, and that's that's uh, you know, high, we give you high praise. Well, Marjorie said to me, You're gonna do a show today, the show <laughs> must go on, and I yeah, the show must go on. Well, it didn't go on on uh Friday, I was feeling pretty, pretty mm. out of it. Oh, well, and welcome to the 2024 club with the COVID. I, mm. I had it too. How many times? I got it uh, uh about a month ago, it was the second about a month ago. Okay, I, almost, I got almost it, almost no symptoms. Well, I, you know, I, all I had was really a bad cold and I, you know, I probably could have gone without going with a Paxlovid, but I, I don't want to take any chances because it go from a, you know, a nice cold to a nice mm. grave, you know. So. I thought you couldn't take Paxlovid twice. Oh yeah, you can take it twice. Yeah. They yeah. asked me how many times, how many, if I've had Paxlovid before and I said yes and they said fine and they. Why? It's not supposed to work again? Well, my doctor told me once you had taken it, you can't take it again. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah, I, when I took it, it left the worst taste in my mouth. For yeah. It was awful, but it sure did. The first time around, I needed it. The second time, I had COVID, which was just basically I was tired and a runny nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let me it. see here. Uh, let, me, let me ask, uh, mm -hmm. let me ask uh, the... Uh, the wizard, the wizard of uh, of uh, whatever oh, the, Google. How many times 
many times can you use Paxlovid? Oh. Because if you can use it more than once, I'll take it every week just to make sure. I, I looked it up. I, uh, Alex just now. Can you take it says Paxlovid the second more round, than once? It says the a second three, but, What? I'm sorry. It says a second round isn't needed if you have a rebound. Yeah. But otherwise. Oh. It, Yes, if you are eligible and high yeah. risk, I recommend Paxlovid. If you have a reinfection from a new variant, yep, yep. Okay, uh, so there's your answer there. So, and I had I had a new variant. It's got to be, you know. There's a new variant every week, isn't there? Or something like just that. Just about. You're yeah. such a trendsetter. Well, you know what I don't get is I, I just <laughs> I I, I tr I've been trying to think of where I got it, and the only time I've been out. In the last what week or so, and they would have to be takes about what how many days for it to catch four, up? Four or five. Four or five days was when I went to my urologist. Oh, oh you know, no. taxis, you know, it could have been, been the taxi. It could have been the taxi. Uh restaurants, we didn't do restaurants that much. We did it last Friday. Yeah, but I was already getting sick on Friday. Yeah. You, didn't, so, you, didn't, you didn't get it from writing your name in the snow? No, no. <laughs> but when I did, it was your daughter's, yeah, right, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Daughter's <laughs> handwriting. <laughs> but uh, so, you know, you know, I mean, I, I don't understand it, but boy, it knocked me out. You know, I was had, but a, and I had a bad cold is what I had. I didn't have anything else. I didn't have any. I had, I had it two weeks ago, and I'm still feeling it. I'm still so tired and just so ugh, out of it. Well, good because I can use that as an excuse for not taking out the garbage for the next two weeks. <laughs> See, two weeks ago, I should have wore a mask, and then you wouldn't have gotten it. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what happened. <laughs> Whoa. So, I mean, I just, but I just don't understand it. I mean, I, you know, I, uh, it's not like I go out and meet people and do things like that, you know. Has anybody else we've known gotten sick who we have anything to do with, Marjorie? I don't know. I haven't seen too many people lately. But she treats me in this house now like a leper. <laughs> you know, I've got my little leper colony in the other room and that's it. You know, don't come in here. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, she doesn't ask me, do you want some soup? Do you feel better? Do you, is there anything I can do for you? Just stay away. We have separate yeah. meals. Hey, did we wish, wish Charlie a happy birthday yet? Yes, I did. Everybody did. Thank you, guys. Is today your birthday? Yesterday. No. Yesterday. So, how old are we now? 74. 74 trips around the sun. Oh boy. Well, you're yeah, you're 10 trips less than me. Yeah. Did you see my gift to Charlie? No, I didn't see it. Did you give him a birthday gift? I gave him a birthday gift. Did you give him a birthday? I'm I can hardly wait to hear what it is, but I bet it has something <laughs> with football. No. Oh uh, no, I said not do a football. Uh, he's wearing it right now. I'm wearing it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love Taylor. Yeah, yeah. The, the golf clubs. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she did. Hey. She did well at the Grammys, didn't she? She sure did. She set a record. Yeah. Only person to ever win four album of the years. Wow. <laughs> Well, that's yeah, that's wonderful. I, I watched think. last night. I watched. They had Joni Mitchell singing, which was it was hard. It grabbed your heart, you know. But she wasn't singing very well, <laughs> you know. It was no. just that she was trying it all. Yeah. What's new? Mm -hmm. hmm? What's new when you're? Well, the only thing is, I wish I could really tug at my heart, but I never was a big fan of Joni Mitchell. There was I. Huh? Right? Yeah. It was I. Yeah, there was, there was something about her that just put me off. I don't know what it was. It was just, 
It was too folksy. It was too, hey, listen to me how folksy I am. You know? And uh, uh, it's like that. also the fact that there wasn't one eagle she hadn't fucked. So, you know, <laughs> well, that, that must be some kind of record. <laughs> but anyway. Hey, guys do it all the time. Yeah, but we're guys. Exactly. What what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, what is that supposed to mean? You get a free pass, is what? what? Yeah, that's right. That's right. We we see it is you don't understand, and women don't understand this fact. But it's our job, job, to inseminate the herd. In nature, the male inseminates the herd. Am I right, guys? Correct. Yeah. Ladies, you're on your own here. <laughs> what do you mean I'm on my own? Is your wife listening? <laughs> your, your, wait, excuse me, not wife. Your your partner. Partner. <laughs> There's no. a herd. She has to the office. She's not here. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean we. You know, it's, it's just the way guys are, are built. You know, so we're allowed to do that, Paula. Yeah, boys will be boys, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a fact? <laughs> yeah. I would say that when I was younger, and I don't know if you guys agree with me on this, uh, sex is always on your mind. You know? That wasn't the herd I was thinking of inseminating. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know. I've known some girls the sex was always on their mind. Really? How about yes, people, yes, they're they're emerging into the the uh, into the um the written word, the spoken word, the movies. You know, like that, times have changed. Yeah, but I mean, you know are women women think about sex all the time too? Many we have other things and better things to think about all the time. You know what Red <laughs> I, Fox said? I, can you think of anything better than sex to think about? <laughs> anything. Hey, Alex, you know what yes, Red Fox is. used to say? What? The man who goes to bed with sex on mind wakes with solution in hand. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't just make that up, did you, Andrew? No, that's an old Red Fox Confucius <laughs> bit that he used to do. <laughs> I don't take credit if I didn't think it up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. He was hey, is Mike Chisholm burying a body or something? What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's hunting for. eagles. Where I'm are you exactly, Mike? Call back when you're sitting down. Mike, <laughs> exactly where are you? We don't want to um, see you. So my house borders on a uh, bird sanctuary. I am in that bird sanctuary right now. Well, why are we looking at you walking? <laughs> well, my wife is behind us yeah. doing a photo shoot right now. So I don't know if you can see behind me what's yeah. going on. So that's the photographer that? that we actually brought to Rupert's going away party at the Ed Sullivan Theater. That's the same photographer. She's a, like one of our best friends. Mm -hmm. And she's doing a photo shoot with my wife. If you go into my Facebook right now, if you go a couple of posts down, you'll see um, you'll see my wife in this crazy red dress. Now they're doing a crazy gold dress photo shoot thing. And mm -hmm. I am assisting them while simultaneously listening to you guys talk about the sexual habits of uh, music stars of the day. Yeah, and now, uh, 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 why, why is she doing? Listen, so we don't have to watch you. Oh, what? No, what, what, don't, what are you doing? Well, he's walking around. He's getting everyone. Yeah, he's walking he's around. So, oh, so... is it? Is it? Is it annoying, Marjorie? I'm yeah. sorry about that. Okay. He's in the bird sanctuary. I can. I can so jump off, but I wanted. <laughs> I can jump off. I just wanted to say hi. I wanted. I wanted my cake and eating it too. Now, why? 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 why is, let me ask you. Why is she taking doing the uh, uh, the photo shoot? Uh, two reasons. Number one, we're helping our friend Sam, who is showing this as one of the services that she provides in her, in her, uh, you know, her, her business. Mm -hmm. And um, she uses my wife a lot as a model slash guinea pig for such, uh, yeah, such occurrences. And so, oh. so, and then Candy gets like, when we brought her to New York, we have these amazing pictures of Candy and I in New York. Um and that was is just your, really cool having that. So, is, yeah. Is your, is your wife a professional photographer? Uh, it's it's my wife's uh, best friend or one of our best okay. friends who is the okay. photographer. My wife is the model. Ah. Look who's joined us. Don Giller, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, right on. 
who is so paranoid attend. about COVID that he's afraid of getting it from me, so he's wearing a mask. <laughs> you, can, you can get it through Zoom now, Don. Be very I careful. Not, not yeah. if you upgrade your virus protection. I <laughs> <laughs> hmm. He is so quick. <laughs> he, he really is. He's, 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 right, he's right on the mark. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, it's nice up there. That's Canada, folks. Mm-hmm. In case you were wondering what Canada looks like. Not bad. Not where, bad. Where, yes. where do you right live? Where our balcony is this? Where, where, do you, where do you live exactly? A place called Kelowna. Kelowna. K-E-L-O-W-N-A. That's yeah, right next to Jerry. Right. <laughs> and and uh, Kelowna is, uh, where, where is it? In, in, in Columbia, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, it's three hours east of Vancouver. Yeah. You know, I always think when they say Vancouver, I go, "Okay, he's on the east coast." But no, Vancouver's on the on on the uh, west coast, right? Vancouver is about a I don't know hour and a half drive north of Seattle. Okay, so it's it's there. That's where Vancouver is. I'm walking again, Marjorie, but I'm going to do it very slowly. Yeah, don't worry about her. She's just stay, an old lady. What do you want? Stay, stay on camera so we can get you see you mauled by a polar bear. <laughs> but boy i'm telling you and and uh, don how uh, don you can take the mask off <laughs> <laughs> this man is is so paranoid about covid even to this day and he should be because look at me i got it exactly three uh, times you know i mean if you had i think i because i had the shots don I think that's what prevented me from getting it really badly, where I got it just a cold, you know. You, you said uh, that 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 you you may have picked it up in a cab or at the or at the urologist. Were you wearing a mask at either of those locations? No, I or was what? not. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I should listen to you. you. Well, at, at our hospital ahead. though, but I just took uh, I just took Stephanie for her physical for her sports. Yeah. And they made us wear masks when we got in there. They handed them to us and said, in the hospitals, you have to. Maybe yeah. it's California. But in most hospitals, I think Mount Sinai now, you don't have to. Yes, you do. They hand it to you. So they you just started again hand. here. Okay. it's They've started again. I'll tell you how I know they started again. I've been, you know, of course, when you're sick like this, you're lying in bed watching endless amounts of television. Oh, God. <laughs> and And the commercials come on. And you know, I, all of a sudden I see, and I thought it was just my mind because I'm attuned to it, how many ads there are now for Paxlovid on oh. TV. Mm-hmm. That's got to be because there is a now another surgence of resurgence of, of COVID. In New York City, especially. Is it worse since the uh, original, you know, in January of 2021, the 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 pandemic or endemic. Whatever. Well, it may be worse. Or you mean it's worse in numbers or it's worse in... Uh... Yeah, we're, we're losing a 1,000 people a week now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Now, these are probably people who haven't been vaccinated. I'm sure. I think but... the vaccination just makes it come on as a, as a mild cold. This was not a mild cold. This was a bad cold. Yeah. Okay. But that was it. I didn't have any aches, didn't have any pains, didn't have any cough. I didn't have any of that. A lot of complaining. But (laughs) oh boy, this is the kind of sympathy I look forward to. (laughs) Just wonderful sympathy and caring for my wife who says, Can I get you some soup? You know, nothing. I haven't heard you say that once. You just said, Eat separately. Keep out of the bedroom. Don't get near me. I'm like, 20 feet yep. away from her. And she put said, your mask put, on. put your mask on. <laughs> but you, you I'm never... on Marjorie's side here. I'm sorry. I, I, agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> but Don, you've never gotten it, right? No, I just, I just came here to attend the wake. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I hate to say this. My phone's about to die. I got to go. We'll see y'all later. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Marjorie, Take thanks you. for calling. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Anyway, so uh, um, no, I uh, so I, I I'm I'm not dying. Jeez, 
<laughs> I didn't even feel I was close to it. It's just that when you get it, you want to get the Paxlovid as fat. You have to get it within five days from the onset of symptoms. So my doctor, of course, is not available on the weekends. And our pharmacy is closed on Sundays. So I we had to go to uh, CVS to go get our... No, yeah, but before we went to CVS, we went to one of those walk-in clinics. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then they we told them to give it, send it to Rite Aid, and they sent it. To, I got a note on my phone. You're, CVS. It's ready at CVS, so we went over to CVS across the street, and um, uh, the fact was that I, I, uh, I they gave me the the box of it, and they gave me the wrong box. I said I need uh, the doctor didn't seem to know the difference. I need something that doesn't affect renal function or whatever and uh what that is is there's three pills per dose and you have to take out one of those pills so if you get the regular the dose box for the elite renal thing it's only two pills well i got three pills so i started taking just the two pills did you know which ones to take uh, yeah i know yeah i looked it up i knew which one to take and not take the one where they have to take two of them the same pill you just take one of them. So you're taking a slightly lower dose of the whole thing. Um, does my voice sound off today, by the way? No, it sounds no, that sounds pretty normal. Sounds better than normal. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, finally, it finally sounds good, Alex. Um, <laughs> it, the, it finally I, I sounds that, good. <laughs> I, I read that, that Paxlovid is no longer free. Well, did you get I, billed? I asked them how much. I said I have my, you know, my prescription card and everything else here, and they said, "Oh, no, no charge." Hmm. So what was it? No charge for a while. Yeah, I, I read recently it's now over a thousand bucks. But, what? But, but maybe it's not in effect. Maybe it's a proposal. Hmm. I don't know. But I, but I read something to that effect. Well, we have we have a lot more people. Yeah, we we have a full uh, uh, prescription coverage. So not full, not full. When we knew my restatus. Oh no! Oh no! That, that that's because they they wouldn't renew a certain pit, uh, thing for your eyes. They wanted to you... charge six hundred bucks. Mm. I said, forget it. Well, no. What happened with it originally is they they have a, what do you call it? This uh, this uh, pocket you fall into. What do they call it? The donut the hole. Donut, donut hole. hole. Oh, no. And if you've got something that's a three a thousand dollar a month uh, drug, you go into that donut hole really fast. You know, really? you must fall into that donut hole. So, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> no, I, I'm reading here. It says, uh, "I just lost it." Uh, last October, that uh, Pfizer would would now be charging one thousand three hundred ninety bucks. For a five-day drug course, yeah, of well, what? They, they uh, Paxlovid. Oh, well, maybe the insurance company. Well, maybe it. that's what they charge the government, and the government might say you can get it for nothing. How much, done? Thirteen hundred dollars, he said. Yeah, wow. 13. Because I just got it, and I when I went to pay for, it, I said, "You want my, you know, my prescription card." which I'm sure would take care of part of it at least. Uh, and they said, oh, no, no charge. It's zero. Zero charge. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, according to, uh, uh, through the end of 2024, people who are uninsured and who have, and mm. those who have Medicare or, or Medicaid coverage will continue to be able to get it for free. Oh, okay. Free? Yeah. That's why Alex. And, and probably when we dead. get to the end of 24, they're going to, they're going to jack it up again, do it again. We'll all be dead by God bless Medicare, baby. Yeah. Yeah. We'd be lost without it. Yeah. Well, then we'd be at the mercy of these insurance companies. Yeah. Well, we are already. Well, I mean, if they want, yeah, if they want to charge you, let's say, let's say uh, uh, you don't have Medicare and you're not uninsured and blah, 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 blah. Uh, whatever, and they want to charge you a thousand bucks. They're really charging you a thousand bucks to save your life. Yeah, you know, I die. and that's why the government should take care of it. You know. Mm -hmm. So, Ch Charlie, what did you get for your birthday besides that lousy T-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> 
I got a lot of goodwill. <laughs> I love Taylor. My God. Yeah, he's a Swifty. I knew you were trouble when you first walked in. What? Who? That's one of her songs. Is that a title of her song? Yeah. I knew you were trouble. Number one song. You know something? I don't know a single Taylor Swift song. Neither do I. Why are you gonna be so mean? Huh? That's another one of her songs. Wait a minute. She, you know what she's doing? She's writing songs off of phrases that women say to guys when they're not happy. <laughs> and that's a good reason to yeah. write them. Yeah. She also writes them after her ex boyfriends. Yeah. Mm. Album number five will be about. Kelsey, so she'll have an epic. <laughs> It'll be a Kel all about Kelsey. Uh, we'll yeah. be sitting here talking about it. They're broken up, and here comes the album out, Charlie. <laughs> she has a new album coming out, so it's got to be a love <laughs> song to Kelsey yeah. in there. You know, it's a love. Well, what I no here's here's what I just hate. You know, the Super Bowl is Sunday, and all the MAGA people are going. You know, at halftime, but yeah. <laughs> They're going to come out for Biden. I mean, yep. it's not something you do during the Super Bowl. They can come out for Biden anytime they want to, right? You know, and she happens yeah, to be. I, I, think, the Super Bowl, yeah. I think she is. What? Wait a minute. Is she, it looks like she is a liberal. Okay. Looks like she's for Biden, well, anti Trump. Okay. Yeah, Let's most of the 35s are. Okay. Let's say that tomorrow she decided she likes Trump. How would you feel about her? I'd be disappointed, but I still like her music. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'd be worried. She has a lot of followers. Do you know how this you know how this works, Alex? She, they, they come did, up with the... she did get people to go out and register to vote. Yeah. yeah. But they, they come out with a conspiracy theory saying it's gonna happen. And then when it doesn't happen, they take credit for, for quashing it. Right. Yeah. Right. So either either way their their madness can yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you hear? By the way, King Charles has cancer, and he's yes. yes. I was going to yes. bring. I was going to bring. Yeah. What? He what? Has cancer? King Charles is a Not cancer diagnosis, cancer. and he's stepping away from duties. Good thing he was king for a week. Yeah, yeah. Was <laughs> king for a day. Didn't you hear about that, Mandy? <laughs> hmm. Didn't you hear about that? Of course, you've been working all day, so you don't have time to watch the news, right? <laughs> you talking to me? Yeah. 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 King Charles has cancer. What kind? Like, is it deadly? Well, oh, William, so. William, William hopes so. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. He would be king. You remember <clears throat> there was this, there was a show called Queen for a Day. <clears throat> it was really king for a day, you know. Uh, no, what happened is what I think. This is my thinking on it. I think it still has to do with the prostate. It they is, say it's it not. They said they did. They did some biopsy of the prostate when they worked on it. They did what was called, I think, a turp, which sounds more like a dance in Germany or something. But uh, they did a turp, which they they kind of shave the the prostate so that the it relieves the pressure on the on the urethra on the urinary tract. And I think when they did that, they said they took out some of the material and put it under a microscope and did whatever. And then they came out with this thing saying he has cancer. I think he has prostate cancer. So it just I'm, I'm reading here, Alex. It says tests were carried out and revealed a form of cancer. The palace said in a statement on Monday, a, a royal source told CNN that the form of cancer detected was not prostate cancer and wouldn't specify further. Well, if they if they took out, they may have taken they may have taken out some stuff from around the prostate, and like the <laughs> underneath the prostate, and found something. But I really the, don't know. You know, royal biopsy or it's ovarian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the funniest crowd I've ever worked for. <laughs> He's almighty. I don't have to do the show anymore you know I, I, well somebody tell me what he said hmm. because I cut out and so of course i missed the joke oh what he said yeah. he said it was it turned out it was ovarian yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um 
but mm. then if it's some other kind of cancer, he's got to be may have a problem. If it was prostate cancer, I would say his chances of surviving are very good. You know, uh, they just have to go in there and do a lot of radiation and maybe put some seeds in there, and uh, he'll survive. But you know, I mean, he's he's <laughs> the old he's the oldest king, you know, or queen that's ever been in office. I mean, it wow. just office it's not an office no she right. was <clears throat> queen elizabeth was alex no 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 well, when they became they, king. they became there's, there's a fake uh, king or queen there's, there's a fake news update that says it's actually the the royal jewels <laughs> the crown jewels <laughs> the crown jewels oh, 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 oh. <laughs> very modified the joke and it got a laugh okay good <laughs> I'm, just, I'm allowed to stumble i don't do this for a living I know. <laughs> you should yeah, probably good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Has anybody ever uh, gone on an airplane recently? Yeah. Move your camera up a little bit so we can see it better. Yeah. There you go. Gone on an airplane recently? Yeah, because I've been on, on an airplane, airplane in years now. I know. If, uh, I wonder I haven't how left the house in years. What do you mean? We've been out of the zip code in years. <laughs> <laughs> right. True. Well, you, we we had we had COVID, and that got us into the sense of not going out much or traveling far for any reason. We go a block away to a restaurant. That's want, about as far as we go. We want to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to book. Uh, uh, very soon, I'm going to book a uh, a cruise for us. On that big, huge cruise liner, that the icon of the seas or something, I think they call it. Yeah. You want to be on there with 8,000 people? But he 10, wants 10, to, 000, not me. 10,000. 10,000 10, people. Yep. And I'm What's saying, the crew? 9,000 of them are kids. <laughs> the Alaska air flight that opened up that was actually the COVID detector went off and it pops up. Again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. So, so, what? So why did you ask about uh, uh, when the last time uh, anyone was on a plane? What was the story behind that? Well, well I'm going on one in uh, Thursday. Oh, good luck. Where and, are you going? Uh, are you going, are you going down to Florida? Yeah. Wear a mask. I have, obviously. I would say, I would time. say, if it's, I, I'm proof positive it's out there. You know, I mean, I, I always give, give Yeller a bad time saying, hey, you know, the whole thing's over with you. You don't have to wear a mask. Every, he's a, he, you really haven't left the house, have you? Yeller? And I haven't caught COVID. Me either. Mm. No. I haven't well, got it's on the uptick within New York, that's for sure. Uh-oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. You, you got to talk. Alert the media. Put yeah, your we're, mute we're on. <laughs> We're doing <laughs> weekly testing back at our facility because obviously we can't have people with COVID, you know, in our test lab. So, oh, yeah, yeah we, we started doing weeklies now. So Sweden's mm -hmm. taking a big hit right now for it. I sneeze five times. Every time I sneeze, I sneeze five times. Was that a sneeze? It was like a silent sneeze. Well, no, I, I turned off my microphone, so... Oh. If, you want me to leave it on the next time I see no. it? <laughs> no, that's fine. No, he has some funny sneeze, I remember. <laughs> the worst. Well, Marjorie said, you were coughing all night. And I said, no. And I said, I was sneezing all night. In the middle of the night, I wake up and touch it. Okay. And then I go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, so I, I've been, but I've been lying in bed and napping and, you know, and trying not to watch the news. But the minute I turn it on, they go, hmm. King Charles has cancer. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, boy, what a lucky guy William is. Jeez. Or, you know. <laughs> Not so lucky. His wife is sick. I know. Yeah, and the, the thing is, the British royal family never says really what's wrong with the person. It must be something. <laughs> you know, I mean, what did she go in for for her stomach? Abdominal, something with her. Abdominal that up. left her in there for three weeks. Yeah. Oh, and, wow. You know. And then she comes home and she's going to not be available to do any of her royal duties. Till after Easter. What? Well, I always thought the royal duty was something you did on the throne. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I'm almost, I almost got there, Andrew. That, that joke almost worked. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. 
I wasn't paying attention. I thought I did. Wait, I'll, I'll, I'll judge. No, it didn't. Work. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's my new one. That's, that's your my, new one. Yeah, that's, that's my a good uh, one. <laughs> with all the court cases coming up, I needed it. <laughs> your company, the whatever you do for a living, you um, you create those things, right, for people? No, yeah, just for me. Oh, just for you. Yeah, we did so about three years ago when I figured out how to set all this up. A buddy of mine and I, we made an online course so people could learn how to use this, the, the software as a sort of an extra thing that we did on the side. Did some the software game. you created? No, no, no. It's public, it's public domain software. And what we did is we taught people how to download it and set it up for the most basic stuff and how to do things. What, uh, what's, what's the program called? It's o OBS Studio. Oh, I know it's OBS Studio. Yeah. And then this is this is actually my my little control panel. So yeah. like if I hit here, oops. Yeah. It's rotating on me. Like here's my uh explosion. Oh here's, <laughs> here's blood coming up my ear for something stupid. <laughs> so as all those buttons I programmed to do all these crazy different things. All they are are just YouTube videos with green screen, and then I key out the green. I'd love to lay my hands on mm -hmm. that stuff just for the hell of it. Something yeah, it's like fun. Mm -hmm. But in, in business, I just do, like if I'm going to do a, uh, a PowerPoint presentation, I shrink down, and then I put the PowerPoint up here, and I can stay engaged with the customer on the screen. Wow. So I, can, I can actually talk. Right. That's, what, that's what I started doing it for, and then all the I other suppose stuff. I could figure out how to do that on my own, but I'm too, yeah. I'm not spry enough anymore to do it Are yeah, you I, to do it? I gave you free access to the course when i did it you can i can it, still i, I can never went to it i'll get you the link again It'll okay do it i would love to I'd i'll love send you the, how to send do you the link where it's free you yeah. also give people the uh the visuals and so on no but I, I i certainly will do it for you if you ask for them well thank you so very much i appreciate yeah. it Mr. and then andrew we know who to blame when something goes wrong and on the night show we're down for three days <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> Hey, how's the how's the? I gotta talk to my family for three days. What the heck? <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys, the California guys, building an arc yet with this all this crazy weather that we're hearing about on the news? Yeah, it's slowed down a little bit, but it's getting cloudy again. Yeah, it, it's it's really it was yeah. really windy here. Did you start counting animals? Well, what, what is what is this now? It's a it's a it's a uh, two atmospheric uh, rivers. Atmospheric. Two atmospheric what is an atmospheric rivers. river? But the first one was just a little bit windy on Friday, and then the yesterday was really bad. When trees were coming down. No, but here's but, the thing that I heard about California, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I may be wrong on this, but what I heard was that you in California had a tornado or a hurricane. A hurricane. That was it. A hurricane. South uh, L.A. was hit by a hurricane. We had 100 mile an hour winds here. So. It's a hurricane. When I heard that atmospheric river, I thought Pink Floyd had a new album coming out. <laughs> Leo, how is it working? Andrew, you're the best. <laughs> no, I'm the best. Okay. <laughs> I'm number two. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Le 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 Len, rather, excuse me, Leo. Len. Yeah. How are you in your area? Yeah, I mean, it was super windy. The The roads are covered in debris and whatever. And it rained a lot. And, you know, it passed. It, wasn't, it was only a couple hours. It wasn't that bad. Do you feel that California is turning positively biblical? I mean, the, kind of, oh, you, the only thing you haven't had yet are, like, frogs or whatever. Locusts, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Got to rake the leaves, that's all. Yeah, well, I, that's why I pay people to do that. <laughs> yeah, wow, wow. And how's the weather where you are, uh, um, uh, uh, Don Giller? Oh, it, uh, it's <laughs> snowing right now. You're you're lying to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I looked out the window. It's very nice out there, actually. Yeah, the sun's out. Be 42 okay. degrees be a nice day to take a walk you know? <laughs> good one yeah but unfortunately i i don't i can't go yeah. out i can't be near people i have to i'm being uh, isolated 
I'm in my cell that Marjorie put me in. He's in the other room. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, seriously, you, 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 you're, you seem to be in better shape than you could be. Well, this is also this is also my second day, one and a half days of Paxlovid, mm -hmm. which works pretty fast. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, it's not like you you wonder, oh, I'll be a couple mm -hmm. of days and then I'll feel better. It pretty much the next day you're you're what well, you wake up and you go, boy, do I feel better. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. it's not as bad. Um, How would you rate it from the first two times? Or compare it. First time, I all I did is I tested positive, but I didn't. We both had the first time together at the same time. But then again, I never feel positive, so you know that's uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's my that's pessimism. True. Emotional. No, but I, I uh, the first time I, I, I didn't really feel it. I just I took a test and I had it. I think it was because Marjorie got it, and then I wanted to see if I had it, and I had it too. So. You know, we went immediately called our doctor and got Paxlovid. The second time, uh, I felt crappy. I felt really, I went to bed one night and I was just achy and all of that. You know, the kind of things you get when you have a flu. So the second time, it affected me that way. This way, this time, it was only a cold. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and Marjorie, you, you barely had any symptoms at all. Is the right? first time? I've only yeah. had it once, and that was the first time he had it. Well, I've tried to get her to take a a, a, what you, a test just to see, you know, if she's got no it. Way. No way. It, just... No way. She, she's in a state of denial. So, <laughs> you know. But why why did I sleep in bed with her for several nights, uh, and, and she doesn't have it? That's my other question, or that we know of. I think you've had long-term... Who did we just lose? We lost somebody. We sure did. Brian. Brian. Oh, Brian. We probably had to go pick up Adrian. <laughs> you got you got caught in the river. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to blow my nose again. I turned my mic down. Yeah, you're making me wonder. I've never had any symptoms, so I've never tested myself. So maybe I've had it five times. I don't know. You know, so people, I guess people can get it and they don't know they have it. You yeah. know, it's such a light mm -hmm. case. All I know is uh, you begin to say, well, what good are the goddamn, you know, injections, if uh, vaccinations, if you if I go ahead and get it like this? And the you answer is, die. huh? You don't die. That's what good it is. Well, that's it. Yeah, you don't right. get it as as bad as anyone else. Well, or you live to complain about it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The other problem with it is, is that when you get COVID, is if you're looking for sympathy, nobody's coming into the bedroom to give it to you. <laughs> sure. you know, I mean, that that's the main side effect of COVID. You know. Uh, but gee, do you remember a, year, a couple of years ago all the people that were dying in hospitals here in New York? Oh yeah, they set Can up we... a hospital on Central Park. Remember? Yeah, that that was set up beds. And that was bed. done by 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 uh, Franklin. Graham. No, Franklin. They have refrigerated Graham. trucks for all the dead bodies. Frank, Franklin Graham sent up those tents uh, right outside of Mount Sinai. Hmm. Uh, Como but, was governor then. Yeah, and I mean. People were dying like I mean, without the of course we didn't have the vaccine then. But what did we lose? Did we lose a million? Yeah, um, more. Yeah. You remember the number? Did we we lost at least a million? It's, yes, hmm. probably a million City. and a half by now. But they quit posting the number, so we don't know for sure. Sun's checking. Actually, we could stand and have a big horrible COVID outbreak again uh, because we the migrant population. Uh, it would offset the migrant population, not by killing the migrants, but by just making more room to park cars. You know, <laughs> as, as you know, we have this real migrant problem here in New York. It's yeah, not... we have this crisis, but the Republicans don't want to solve it until November. Yeah, they don't want to solve it till November because then Trump will take care of it, right? Of course. It's, it's the way it is now because of Trump. So, you know, whatever. One point one seven four million. One point four. One point one seven four. Oh, one seven four. 
But we're like I said, we're losing a thousand a week now. So hey, that's four thousand a month. How many would we lose? How many? How many would we lose to the normal flu, though? Six. During, huh? Six. Six. Six people. <laughs> Six people, huh? Oh wow. So Charlie, it's weird. I'm checking my stocks, and Soiling Green went up two dollars a share. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Wonderful. Between 2010 and 2022, uh, uh, this is unclear. I'm not really. Um, between five four forty nine hundred and fifty two thousand deaths annually yeah. between 2010 and 2022. Oh, is this from flu? From flu, yeah. From flu. That's annually. Yeah. That's a whole year. We were well, losing that's what five. Yeah, but if you say that like a thousand a month, how many do you say now, Charlie? It's a thousand a week. So wow. it's a week. It's Fifty-two thousand a year. That's what how we're losing. They die yeah, of the flu per before. year. Yeah. Of the flu per year, between uh, five thousand and fifty-two thousand. So it's well, so it's, it's the same amount essentially. Same we're, amount, yeah. So you know, if you want the high end, yeah. If you want to put it in that perspective, it's not certainly the outbreak it once was. But no, we were losing. Now we, I'd love to see nine thousand. I'd yeah. love to see the statistics on how many people actually have COVID now. In other words, like me, yeah, you can't many, find yeah. it because because they're it like you. It's not being reported. Why is it not being reported? Don't they report it when I go out and get Paxlovid? A lot of people self test. They find out they have it. Yeah. They don't go tell anybody about it. Yeah. I Alex, I had it, didn't get the Paxlovid, self-tested, and didn't tell anybody. Yeah, and how long did it take for it to go away? Three three days, because I didn't have much. My wife had more symptoms. She oh. went down to visit our daughter and came back with it and then gave it to me, so she had it. And then three days later, when she was getting better, I had it. How bad did she have it? Yeah, heavy cold symptoms. Nothing. Yeah, no, she, but we're, she, we're vaccinated. You, Vaccinated. Vaccinated, boosted. Wow. Okay. We, we, we burn sage in the house. You know? hey, guess what? <laughs> Brian's going to pick up Adrian. There he is. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to uh, share with Brian that I have the same hair bow thing that he had on his Facebook. I actually have it. <laughs> <laughs> what a dad. Get a, get a, a great dad, I should say. <laughs> How many? How many? Kids, how many kids did you have, Mandy? Two. Two. Yeah, and one of them lives in New York now. Yes. Is she enjoying it? She loves it. I imagine if you're young, you would really love New York at this point. I mean, because it's, socially, it's a great town to be in. You know. She says she'll stay two more years, and then they'll they're going to move back. I got this. I got to push buttons. Hey, hey Andrew, who needs you? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, come on, we 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 all can do it if we want to. You know. Yeah, <laughs> I can. Yeah. yeah there's no I, I, I can I can get away with mooning people and not getting in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's for Charlie. <laughs> oh, it's cold in here. Oh god. <laughs> Real problem. Marjorie really did kick your ass out, didn't you? <laughs> but you know, Marjorie, you know how I feel about you, don't you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that's all they give you though on zoom uh i've had enough i'm gonna go play with my friends what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway let me turn that off Hold on a second. i'm gonna do it again how, how does that work andrew that 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 about how how the how the, the placement of it um it's all it, it has nothing to do with the zoom the, the quick answer is I have a, a program that's like a TV studio. Uh -huh. It generates a fake camera. So when I go on Zoom, 
Zoom thinks it's looking at a camera, but it's looking at the output from my TV studio. So whatever I do in it comes here. Okay. So my camera goes to this program. It uh -huh. creates like a TV program there. And and then well, your, program your, broadcast your, your, as a camera. Your picture is in OBS, right? Yeah, my, my camera is right. in OBS. And then you do the virtual display by by clicking on that on OBS. And it becomes the picture that's on screen now. What's OBS? What is OBS? It's, OB a, it's it's a software. So b b the si the simpler version is imagine that there's a filter between my camera and Zoom, and that filter is where everything's happening. Right. And what Zoom sees is what happens with the, what the filter shows. Right. Oh. Right. But you see, the thing is that what I what I do, um, uh, OB uh, OBS is basically a TV studio and software. Right. Was, what we used to have, I used to have to have a big box, you know, a huge box to do this kind of flip flopping and everything in. And now you can just do it using this program, which is free. It's free. Yeah. And you can do really a tell what my nighttime program I do with OBS. I don't do this with OBS. I like this. It's nice and simple. It goes over to Facebook, you know, and mm -hmm. so on. But when I do the nighttime show, it all goes through OBS onto the screen, you know, and and uh, I can flip flop everything and dissolve from one thing to another and play videos and so on. So it's like a little TV studio, all one, for free. One all of the other things that I'll do, Paula, that's kind of cool, is I'll use this and I'll put someone over on this side and I'll grab your image and the two of us can be on the screen at the same time. So if I'm so giving a presentation... Fine. If I'm That's... giving a presentation with a partner to a client, even though we're in two different countries, <clears throat> on the same square in Zoom, mm -hmm. giving a presentation. So that's it's, pretty that's, wild. Yeah, but as somebody behind the bar, you're you're gigantic. I know. I did that on purpose. I think it's funny. And if I shrink it down, then I don't have room for the other person. Oh, I see. But, it's like uh, it's like the world is a science fiction movie anymore. Yeah. Just so like... my, my favorite is what because I hate the experience. You ever hear someone say, "Give me your elevator pitch." So I, I bring my own when I give it. It's <laughs> because <laughs> I think it's a stupid expression. And, yeah. And if it's a commercial one, I use my commercial elevators. Whoa, that's very <laughs> scary looking. <laughs> but it's just, it's a great way to do presentations and stuff. And obviously in a normal stuffed collar business meeting, I'm not goofing around with it. But when when I'm having fun, I do. Yeah, yeah, make sure you, you, don't, you don't use the shining elevator mm -hmm. scene. No. <laughs> where is it that's not working holy cow it's not working. you're stuck in it now yeah uh, i got i had the wrong See, button on there that's oh, what sure. blows that's me right. away that that the image conforms go. to the body so that it makes it yeah. that happen that's just amazing it doesn't conform to my body it's if i move out of the way it goes away yeah, yeah. It's i have to position yeah. myself because i know where it is yeah Oh, yeah. there's a way of making it track. Yeah, there's a way where I could like if I had it tied to the movement of my finger, I could make a word go with it. But I don't have that set up. It's 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 like a t it's a TV studio in the 1980s had 20 percent of the capability of what this thing does. Exactly, it's, exactly. It's, it's literally a free program. Used to, I used to work for a company called Play Incorporated, and we made a box called the Trinity. And the and the tri and before that, these same people had started a thing called the video toaster that you put in a Amiga, yeah. And it, it was the first one with a card that you put in a in a computer that would do a lot of these effects. Then when we got the Trinity, we had a lot more power, and we could do better and bigger things with it. Okay, yeah. including chroma key and so on and so forth. By the time we get to this, this is just this is a yeah. We're going to be downloaded into yeah. your computer. You started actually, this is where I actually am. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See? Um, and I have I have a bag over my chair so that you yeah. don't see it. Oh, I see. So you don't see the chair, too. Yep. I, wow. mm -hmm. Nobody sees my chair because I'm just too fat. <laughs> and? Huh? And? Uh, and? <laughs> <laughs> so what projects are you up to, Giller? Uh, geez, uh, three that are interesting to nobody. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, last summer, I, 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 I put together a, a, 
sort of a biography of my sixth grade teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was in communication with her two sons and daughters who are in their uh, late 60s, early 70s. And now for the last month, I've been working on uh, uh, a, biograph a biography of, of uh, a college professor. Um, and uh, this, again, of interest of, it'll be of interest to people who knew the guy, but, but probably to, to nobody a, else. Is this video or just written? It'll be written. Oh, I mean, okay. it, it's there, there's, there's so much information in newspaper archives, uh, that I didn't know existed. And, and, um, um, I'm mostly focused on his family history. Um, and and I've got a skeleton, but I'm starting to put meat on the on the put, put skin, whatever the expression is. Yeah. Um, I'm, it, it's it's neat. I'm I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you, and I'm not getting paid for it, which is even better. You you um, wrote me and uh, you were saying you were up to a whole bunch of different things because I hadn't heard from you in a while. Yeah. Well, there was a reason. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> um. And and I'm too. I'm doing two projects for Worldwide Pants. Uh, or rather, I'm not doing it because I'm doing this, um, and that's that's gonna that both will probably be a years long project. But what, what what is one of them? Anything we know? Well, one be. of them is is uh, I was asked to put to, to uh, compile all the top ten lists, mm. and there are there are thousands of them. Um, and and I'll just take the videos and make them into one coherent file. Yeah, it's all text. It's all text. Oh, it's all text. Yeah. So they can search through them and find what they want and do whatever they want to do with it. Wow. And the other um, is that I bought a new laptop, not this one, um, that will trans that will convert all of the late nights into text trans transcriptions. Also for searching purposes. This, um, this is all for them. So they when they make the videos, they can go back and find... Yeah, like we want a particular thing that does a particular thing that says a particular thing, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we're looking for this phrase, and you know, usually it's a needle in a haystack. But after I finish it, it'll be it'll be simple to. You find. also said you were working on something about Rick. Oh yeah, well that I see. I wanted to keep that. I I didn't want to tell you this was last year, but but then uh, maybe Mike for whatever reason I did. Um, and yeah, I, I've told you this, but I haven't done anything. Um. When Rick was on your pop-up show for years, yeah, he would only occasionally talk about his uh, his film expertise or his Letterman expertise, TV expertise. So I wanted to put them all together, um, oh, wow. and you know, have just you know a montage of Rick talking about what he knows best. Um. And I've done out of the what I think two hundred and thirty some pop ups. I've done one. Wait, so, a minute. he did two hundred and thirty <laughs> pop ups. About that, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we only yeah. do fifty of them a week. That's a year. year. Fifty a week. Yeah. Fifty a week. Twenty twenty four. We started in twenty twenty, Alex. <laughs> twenty twenty. Yeah. Uh, I guess. I guess there might have been two hundred and thirty. You know. Maybe. I'll I'll double check. Hang on. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm doing, and I'm not sleeping. Yeah. yeah. And you just sit in that chair all the time, right? Uh, no, I, you know, the uh, <laughs> nature. Uh... It's better known as hemorrhoid central. <laughs> uh, no, I, I go grocery shopping. Tomorrow I'm going to see my uh, 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 periodontist. Um. Oh. And that, in fact, you know, that's the only time I don't wear a mask when I'm at the dentist or the periodontist. I love people who scrape my teeth. It's just, it's just a, such a pleasure. <laughs> I often wonder about my dentist because of that. He's always open mouth. Why do they call them hemorrhoids, but they don't call them asteroids? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I never, wrong. It's I been, never thought of that. I'm, I'm wrong. It's, it was a, a hundred and. Uh, <laughs> 140. Wow. Pop ups. Not not 200. Wow. Well, he's. On the he, Monday show? He is yeah. So missed. Really? Yeah. 
And everything in Georgia is just fine. Uh, Mandy, I was saying. Yeah, so I mean, last, I, I, last... And I'm not quite sure how it's going to be pieced together. Oh, I, we, my time's no, up. No rush, but I can hardly wait to see it because it will have the Giller touch. Uh, Mandy, uh, did you watch uh, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm last night? No, I was watching the Grammys. It took place in Atlanta. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh. Really funny, too. Huh? I'll check that Only out. the beginning. Yeah. Only yeah. the beginning. Well, oh, okay. It was okay. It wasn't great, yeah. but it was okay. You know, but he winds up in Georgia and gets arrested. And the oh, credit funny. sequence is funny. That's it's the horrible. final show? This no, it's the first part. show. This is the first show of the final season. Ah. And, unless it's not. <laughs> uh, no, well, no, They he says it really is the end. Yeah. He said, you know. I hope it is. He says he's getting tired of doing them. You know, which it wasn't I, that great. Well, you know, in the old days, it was that way too. There were some that were great, and some that weren't. There were some that were forced, and some that weren't. You know, but there's something about Larry David that it's better to live in a world where Larry David lives than live in a any other world because it makes me look good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, takes the pressure off me. Anyway. Does it really? I'm glad you joined me uh, on the COVID edition of this show. Um, um, and uh, I, I, I got to tell you, this thing, it, it has knocked me out. But you people have made me just come alive with laughter, especially Andrew Deutsch and Giller, who's exceedingly funny. And the rest of you are just great at being part of this uh, this component. And, and I get a lot of letters from people saying how much they just love the group. You know, and I can't say that I don't love you just <laughs> as much, if not more. No sentences, just just letters. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, they they're getting around to sentences slowly <laughs> by audience. You know. Anyway, thank you so much. First of all, to Charlie for being here. I appreciate it. Happy birthday! Thank you. Oh yeah, happy birthday! Seventy four, huh? Seventy four. Seventy four. Marjorie, thank you for being here. How many years now? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 of course, our, our good friend Andrew Deutsch, who uh, is just makes me giggle a lot. Feel, Jeffrey feel Stein, better, huh? Feel better, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. I will. I'm, I'm sure I feel better already. It's just my nose is still dripping. Yeah. You sound much better. Yeah. Uh, and and thank you to Jeffrey Stein and to Paula. Always love you, Paula. Thanks for showing up, darling. You know, terrific. And uh, uh, no, I, I the show must go on, right? There you go. Unless it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> Charlene Solis, thank you so much, Charlene. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate it. Uh, Mandy, always lovely to have you here. Yeah, yeah. I I'm just it's so busy right now. Marjorie knows it's that time of year. Sorry, to oh, it's, 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 <laughs> what time of year is it? it no, it's, 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 year it's and like a physical thing that happens to you, but no, no, just taxes, taxes. and final financials, things like that. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, gets to be that time of the year, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which is different, by the way, in case you're listening from that time of the month. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> time of the year, different. <laughs> Uh, Len, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you joining in. Don Giller, always wonderful when you join the group. Jo uh, Joni Mitchell is a god. Yes. She's a god? Yeah. Yes. She's a goddess. What, yeah, I, what I saw last night, she's going to be with God. <laughs> <laughs> well, that made me cry. Mm -hmm. and, but uh, anyway. You don't know what you've got, so it's gone. Call more yeah. Don. Don <laughs> says he doesn't call. He doesn't, doesn't call a lot. Because you feel they have nothing to say, right? As I've proved today. Wait, what are, you, are you out of your mind? Mm. Every everybody applaud who thinks that Don Geller is oh, welcome on it, this show it. and very funny on this show. Yes. Here, here. So there. So call more, you jerk. <laughs> well, with that with that invitation, of course. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And Brian Neary is now uh, at school, and there is Adrian making the end of the show. There she is. 
Boy, is she growing up. I'm telling yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too fast. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. 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 And uh, also, finally, we go to our old friend, Edward Berger, who signs off the program with his traditional. That's all, folks. <laughs> Bye, -bye everybody. Bye. See you next week. Thank See you. Next